just really hate when a bitch be like, oh yeah, you know not to play with me. Ah, uh, who? Bitch, I'm finna EA Sports. It's in the game. Yo, my Hi lovies, welcome and welcome back if you are returning. Today we're gonna get into this pretty pink dragonfly look. <laughs> I was feeling myself a little bit. But listen, right here we already got our base foundation done. We already did the concealer, contour, and all that good stuff. Now we're gonna prime our lids. I used the e.l.f. primer. And then we're gonna go all over the lid. And then after that we're gonna move into our crease. So for this look, we're actually going to prime our bottom lids as well, but we'll get into that later. Now we're going into that crease and I'm using Express It. And this is the Chloe Bratz palette from Makeup Revolution. And you just want to get anything that's skin-like. Anything, well I should say skin complexion-like. <laughs> After that, we're going to take our concealer and we're going to make our cut crease. It's a soft cut crease, nothing too sharp, too harsh. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I'm using the shade 190 and you kind of want to create like a, a half moon sunset sort of shape. That's just what we're going for and you want to lay that all on there and then we're going to apply our eyeshadow to it. So the first shade that we're going to go into is Crush using the same Chloe palette. And we're actually going to use Crush on the majority of the lid as close to our inner corner as possible. And you want to pack it all over that concealer and it pretty much sticks to the shape. So you don't have to worry about any of that. Later we'll go in and we'll blend out the Express It to make it a little more soft. Y'all remember that song Crush by David Archuleta? I'm like heavy on that right now. <laughs> Don't worry about being perfect, just pack that color on there. Using the same palette, we're gonna go into the color Flaunted and you wanna cover the rest of that concealer towards the outer corner of your eye. Again, you're gonna pack, but this time you're gonna blend it inwards towards that first color crush. And just go back and forth and build it to your liking. Here is where we take that blending brush and we're going to go ahead and blend out express it in the cut well in the crease that way it doesn't look so harsh and you guys it's very important to have a good crease brush okay that you can create any combination as long as you blend um along the way go ahead and clean up the pink that falls off as well Gods to have the full brows. If not, I look like a ghost. So now we're moving on to our bottom lid. And you just want to take the corresponding colors and you want to put them there. Before we do, of course, I'm adding more primer onto it using a pointed brush. And I'm also adding primer into the corner of my eyes, the inner corner. We're going to add a highlight. You want to go ahead and take that crush and you want to put it on the first part of your bottom lid and then you want to fill the second half or the back of your bottom lid with flaunt it. Go ahead and build that bottom color to your liking. You want to get it as intense as the top. So I went ahead and drew the eyeliner on one eye and today we are going for a dragonfly shape and it's actually simpler than it looked you guys trust me. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to draw your regular wing liner a little thin one sharp um, wing liner and then after that you want to move your brush inward a little bit towards the middle and you want to start to draw another wing liner right on top of it but the key is is to leave a little gap where we normally fill in the wing you want to have that peekaboo color popping out and it's okay if you mess up all you have to do is get a little bit of primer pop it on top and stick that color right where you want it to be so it looks peekaboo like a dragonfly wing Now you just wanna take your liner and clean up any lines where you need it to be sharp and you need it to be neat. 
So now we want to take our Makeup Revolution Bratz Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in the shade Jade. And then you want to put that all along your waterline, build it up so that pink kind of pops a little bit. So now we're dipping back into our Chloe palette and you want to get a little flat brush and you want to go ahead and pack that feathers color right in the corner of your eye and that brings a brightness to this look. It also adds a little bit of contrast and again the color is feathers. On to mascara, I'm using the KISS Super Length Waterproof Mascara and you want to go ahead and just fill your top lid and your bottom lid with the mascara. Go slow, I know it's sped up here, but go slow and you just want to spread those lashes out and you want to build them up. That way they blend in with your um, false lashes. Also, when you're doing your bottoms, turn your brush upward. That way you get more control and you want to pick your hand up and back down um, when applying mascara to your lashes. You want to be very light handed. After that, we're going to blend out any of the mascara that may have gotten on the bottom lid. You want to blend it out in towards that pink a little bit. And then you're going to add more of the color onto the bottom lid. If your waterline color got lost in the mascara, go ahead and reapply it. Moving back to the face, we're going to use our Fenty powder and this is in the shade Cashew. You want to clean up any fallout and this just makes the face look so much more neat and uniform. Um, we're getting closer to the end, but you want to put it all around your face, your neck, blend out any of the harsh lines. Like me, I have small lines, so I kind of pack it in there. And then after that, you want to get your loose powder. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me one. You want to get a fluffy brush and you want to go all over that. Blend all of that in down the neck, everywhere where you applied any foundation. Now grabbing the best bronzer in the world, I'm using Fenty Beauty in the shade Island Teen. And you want to go over everywhere where you've contoured. So that's the cheekbones, the forehead, the jawline, and then you want to do the bridge of your nose as well. Now we're moving into blush and I'm just using the Juvia Place palette. Um, this is Warriors 2 and that shade in particular is a coral shade and it's D-U-A-R-A -A, so I'm going to say Duora. But you just apply that to the high points of your cheeks and on the apples of your cheeks. After that I wanted to add a little bit of glitter to my lids because you know the the wings of a dragonfly is pretty iridescent. You can kind of see through it. And the funny thing is, is this shade is called iridescent. So you just apply that all over the crush shade. Set your face. I'm sorry, y'all. Between the Lines is on and I heard them singing about Chicken Jane. So I felt the need to sing. Anyways, moving into my favorite part highlighter we are using the bh cosmetics strobe shock highlighter the shade is high voltage it's a pink type of color you want to apply it to the high points of your cheeks your temples the bridge of your nose um above your lip and then you can add it onto your forehead and chin if you want um i started feeling myself here again y'all oh and and then it got in my mouth Now we're moving on to the lashes and I could have left this look like this 
but lashes are sexy so anyways i'm putting the lashes on you want to put the glue on your skin across your liner first that way it dries faster and as soon as you put your lash to your lid it's actually going to stick and it's going to form better to the shape of your actual eyelid and you're going to have to adjust it a little bit pull up pull down push down push up you want to get it to fit perfectly and you want it to have a lifted look after you get your lashes in the place that you want to, go ahead and go over that liner with the liquid liner so it looks more seamless. business we are moving on to lips it's gonna it's gonna um, be composed of four parts first we are using the deepest pink to line the outside of our lips and this shade is actually called sugar I love it it's so pretty it's so smooth this is by makeup revolution as well and you just want to get that all on the inner corners to cupid's bow and you really want to build it and pull it towards the center of your lip Now you want to take a hot pink lip liner and honestly I think this one is just called magenta and you want to fill in all the rest of your lips and you really want to look at this. I'm so heavy handed. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> you really want to pack that all over the center and pull it in and it's just so pretty. That's the majority of the color that you want. Then I just took some clear gloss and it's mint flavored and I packed that on top. Lastly, the fourth component, my baby. This is a lip topper by Makeup Revolution. And it was part of their Disney Princess um, set. And this is actually Cinderella. You're done. You're done. Uh, if you've seen backwards, that'd be to get the reference. Anyways, this is the finished look, you guys. I'm feeling like a pretty little dragonfly that's gonna just take freaking flight and just flip around in the air and just twist around and go harass somebody. Like, I'm feeling this look right now. It's one of my first graphic line. Well, not, it's one of the first graphic liner looks you guys have seen. Um, it's really simple. It's really pretty. It's really fun. And festival season is coming up. So let me know if you enjoyed this look. And let me know if you tried it in the comments below. It is really simple. I promise you guys. More content on the way. And you guys have a blessed day or night wherever you are. Thank you for spending time on my channel and watching this. And don't forget, don't dim your light for nobody. I don't care if they blind and tell them, put, tell them, put their shades Get on. Get them black. Fool. Get them black. Call. Get them black. The Get them black. Money. Fuck them off. I play. Get them right. Call. Tighten up. Get them right. Get them black. Tighten up. Fuck them up. Get them right.